Hey folks, part two of the GDP deflator. So now that we've found the nominal GDP of 2018 and 2019, we can now move into finding the real GDP given a base year. And since the base year we have chosen is 2018, we're now gonna focus on the price of 2018 and multiply this with the quantity of 2019. So now again, we're gonna put here for a quantity of, of coffee, 12 million times the price of 2018 of $2 plus the number of donuts in 2019, 7 million times the price of donuts in 2018 at $1. And when we calculate both coffee and donuts, we get 24 million for coffee plus 7 million for donuts for a total of 31 million. And this represents the real GDP with a base year of 2018. So once we have what we need, which would be the nominal GDP and the real GDP, now what we can do is just plug in what we have. We have real GDP base year 2018 31 million, and we also have the nominal GDP of 2019 at 38.75. Now what we can do is simply box the numbers that we need to make sure that we can plug in into our equation. Nominal GDP, which is a current year, 2019, is 38.75. over the real GDP with a base year 2018 is 31 million. And now we can calculate the GDP deflator. So the answer becomes 1.25 times 100 times 100 to give us a deflator of 125 as the final answer. So now the question is what does 125 mean? Well, if we look at a number line, we can then see what 125 means. Here we have a number line, and in between we have 100. Let's say if the answer is 50, this tells us that the price level growth this year is half of what it was last year with a deflator of 50. If our answer instead is 200, this means that the price level growth this year is twice as much as it was last year. But since our answer is 125, 125, this means that the economy, its price level, its growth, is 25% more than it was last year. 